What's up guys? So we're finally, finally on our American Patriot trip. We've had three, uh, two cancellations and this is our third attempt to get out on this boat. Um, it's been due to uh, weather uh, conditions and you know, you, if that's the thing about offshore fishing. If the conditions are bad, you just can't do it. You know, it's not something that you can do every single day. You gotta plan around the weather, but we finally made it out here. Um, this boat sails out of Marco Island and we're headed about 120 miles offshore to a deep water area called Pulley Ridge. But just before that, we're gonna pump the brakes and see if we can't get on some American Red Snapper. The season's open over here in the Gulf. Um, I think they have a 50 day um, season to catch these fish. So we'll see if we can't just break the ice with a few of those in the box. And we also have something special that Chris is gonna tell you about. Yeah, so this, uh, this trip ended up uh, giving us an opportunity to fish with some friends from Daiwa, uh, who we have Noah, who works in the whole rod design and development program at Daiwa, uh, on this trip on the American Patriot here in Florida with us. So you guys are going to see a little bit of him in action, and we hope to provide you with some information just about Daiwa and the slow pitch jigging world. Um, something really, really cool that Noah brought with him was giveaways for everybody on this trip. Want to grab one of those yeah. bags? So there's, awesome. a, there's a clear tackle case and we got a 300 gram um, slow pitch jig here, a Saltiga SK jig, and then this is a 20, 20 gram, gram yeah, SK micro jig. jig. Some, some are 20, 30, 40, but a couple jigs for everybody on the boat. Thanks to Daiwa and Noah. Everybody likes free stuff. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so how about this? And then the biggest grouper and biggest snapper, which we, we kind of got a tradition going here on these private charters that we do, uh, each winter rod, and on this trip they are going to be Daiwa Saltiga slow pitch jigging rods. We don't give away these rods. Yeah, this nah. is Daiwa giving away this one. That's right. This is top of the line. Yep. Um, and we happen to have the rod designer here on the boat with us for Daiwa, oh, which yeah. is pretty cool. Oh, so yeah. we're, we're able to pick his brain about uh, really the ins and outs of these rods, yeah. but we can tell you this one is beautiful. I think this is the lightest slow pitch jigging rod on the market. I know I put it on the scale myself at four to four and a half ounces, depending on the power level. Pretty sure it's the lightest. It's got uh, titanium guide frames and Torzite inserts and it's a nano carbon blank. It's incredible. For biggest snapper, we have um, Altiga Spinner Daiwa has given to us to give away. And that's gonna be, you know, obviously at the end of uh, this uh, yeah, video. So stay tuned to see what the biggest fish are. And the next time you see us, we will be jigging out on the open blue. We're just a few guys that decided to pursue our passion as we hit destination fishing spots in our local waters out of Pompano Beach, Florida. We want to fill you in on what we have learned along the way. What's up guys? We're here on our first morning of the American Patriot trip and the conditions are perfect. The seas are about one foot. We've got um, maybe five to eight knots of uh, wind and it's a beautiful day. There's a few clouds in the sky. We've put just a ton of fish on the boat um, from red snapper, big mutton snapper. Uh, we were jigging through the night quite a bit. There's a lot of yellow tails put on the boat as well. And we're doing something a little different than what you normally see us doing, which is we're anchored up. So on a drift, we pitch our jig into the drift and then we get vertical and then we keep jigging for a while because we're gonna cover a lot of territory. But because we're anchored up, the captain has locked us onto a spot that's producing a lot of great fish, but you gotta change your tactics up a little bit. So what we do is we actually will pitch our jig out just like normal, but we'll switch spots on the boat. We'll change our cast, whether we cast it that way or we cast it this way, or, or even um, you know off to the corner. You want to keep switching it up so you're covering territory with your jig because we're not drifting you're not going to cover different areas unless you're casting in different directions there's also guys all around the boat jigging and you'll be able to fish from whether you're on the port side starboard side the bow or stern you could jig all the way around the boat when you're at an anchor so what i'll do is i'll pitch my jig out like so and i'm thumbing the spool just to tap bottom 
and I'll keep it I'll keep a little pressure on it just so the jig turns straight up and down and I'm going down faster and we're in about 200 feet of water and I'm using a 160 gram jig which is perfectly fine for what we're doing right now and then once I tap bottom I'm actually gonna be scoped out a ways from here and then I'll be able to um, work it back towards me and once I get vertical with it I'll jig it for a little bit there and then I'll reset and do it again let's go First morning guys out on the American Patriot and I just got tight on the first fish of the day. We had a great uh, night bite, um, nice showing of uh, mutton snappers and yellowtail snappers. This guy's pulling some good amount of drag on me. Seems like the right species. Back. I'm not going to put any more heat on him than I already have there's no reason to he's off the bottom i've got time to play this fish out and i'm getting pretty close here and he feels like he's starting to make his way up i'm under the boat just the hair i'm under the hole oh crap i gotta go around oh no there he is okay there we go nice mutton snapper guys First thing in the morning. Let's put a gaff on him. Let's put a gaff in this fish. There he is. Nice mutton snapper coming up. There he is. There he is. Oh, that's a nice mutton. Not bad for There we go. Right on the trip. That's it. Cook the baby. Um, this is actually my second mutton of the trip here, but the first one on a Johnny Jig slow pitch jig and. The jig that I'm using here actually is the um, uh, flatty. And you can see it's got the zebra on it right there. It's the pumpkin flatty. So let's catch some more fish. It's been a good morning so far. Yes. There we go. Christopher Doyle. Talk to me, baby. What's up with that? Got three people hooked up here. Man. Fish are hot, huh? Reds. The ARS are on fire. Guys, keep your eye on my buddy Bob Vaughn right here. Oh, I see color. I see color. Mark, what's your TikTok? Uh, fishing with Mark. Mark. Fishing with Mark. You guys gotta see. That is a button. Where are we at? Right here. Bobby Vaughn's got to be getting close. We're about to throw a bunch of fish on the deck. Talk to me, Chris. Oh, what is going I on here? I just got hammer on the bottom. Just working the jig. Keeping the work in. He ain't going to be one of the bigger ones. But. Okay, right behind, right behind you. Fish coming over the deck. Right there on the deck. Mutton snapper. On the other side here. What do we got here? Bobby Vaughn. Oh, we got Ed Wolf is hooked. Oh, man. This is just chaos right now. Dude, look at this at ARS. Nice ARS coming up. There we go. What do we got, Christopher Doyle? Watch out. Oh, he's flipping. Chris is flipping a big. Yeah! Johnny, I'm hooked up for you. Yeah, look at it. It was at this moment that Bob realized he had messed up. One thing you don't want to do is look right here. He's grabbing the gaff. And you'll notice that the jig right here is pointing upwards which means that the jig is now connected to bob vaughn's hand let's play this out for a second here and as it goes down oh go down go down you hear a little bleeping there because bob realized that this is not gonna be good so i always tell guys don't reach out for the gaff don't touch the fish let the fish hit the deck whenever you got a jig in there um there's a lot of hooks okay, fish is off. on these jigs. On. A lot of times there's okay. two go on down. each go side down. and the, the possibility the of this happening is bad. I'm gonna let this play out. If you get queasy easily, 
just go ahead and fast forward through the next 10 seconds and we'll move on to something different. Okay. But I was hoping Please to use this cutters. as a learning experience all, for no, all don't of us. go that way. Don't go that way, Bob. You gotta cut, I'll, the, I'll cut the I'll cut the barb off. You gotta cut the barb off. You okay? Oh, you alright? It's all good, my friend. Oh dude, let's see what happened here. My goodness, you gotta cut the barb on that. So just hang out. It's all good, my friend. <laughs> this look is a fish. Look at this real man. Who gives it? Freaking just take man. the hook off. That you know that? Some skin there. That pulled some skin. You're a freaking man. Just take the hook off. Yeah, I got cutters. Yeah, yeah, he needs bolt cutters. Yeah, I got, I got here. Oh, no worries. Yeah, he's running, he's running. No worries. Johnny, go catch some fish, my friend. <sighs> this is nothing but a flesh wound. Bobby Watch. Bobby Watch. All right, guys, it's over. We managed a few more American red snappers and mutton snappers in this area before pulling anchor and taking a long ride out for a deep drop. This area that we went into was somewhere between five and 800 feet as we were falling off the edge. We got into some really quality fish, but we weren't getting much bottom time. So we needed to switch over to our electric reels just for stamina reasons and being able to stay on the rail. Check this out, guys. We got 150 feet left to go, guys. Bite just, bite just went off rather well. Um, little Richie hooked up. Chris Doyle got a clean snapper behind me, and uh, I've got 130 feet to go. This guy slammed it on the bottom, but he's coming up like a quality fish right now. And uh, we're fishing at 800 feet. Um, the electric reels with this heat is absolutely necessary. So I'm at 90 feet right now, guys. We're about to see color. How you feeling, John? Oh, I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Let's see what we got out here. This, this is gonna be a quality fish, man. I got color, deep color. Float him, Ricky, float, float him, baby. Float him. Float her, baby. Here we go. What's the verdict? We oh, got look chase. At chase. Look at the chase. Here he comes. The What's Oopa, the verdict? Ooper, ooper. Yeah, bro. That's a real snowy right there, guys. Look at that. This is our picture right here, buddy. Yeah, priest bull. Free spool. That's a snowy grouper, man. Whoa. I'm stoked about that one. Hey, that's a beautiful fish. That's it. That's, that's our picture it. right there. <laughs> so this guy right here has a pretty distinct thump when he hits you on the bottom and he slammed the guava torpedo. Uh, you can see there on the side. And we're fishing at like 800 feet of water, which is deep water. And you know, you only get, you know, maybe five or six dumps on the bottom before, you know, this, you're scoped out. So going to the electrics, you know, and be able to stay down there and have a lot more time on the bottom with the electrics, you know, gets you into fish like this. And Chris just got hammered by a queen snapper on the way up, came to film me. I got wrapped around Little Ridge, uh, is tuna. During the retrieval of this fish, we were able to unwrap that work as a team. And man, this is what we come for. This is what we come to Pulley Ridge for on the American Patriot. We were having just a fantastic trip. I think everybody was pretty satisfied with the first day. And off in the distance, we saw some fish uh, skying. It looked like they were um, in a school of bait. And we decided to just run up on them to have some fun and throw some top water plugs. We had some poppers and sinking uh, stick baits. And it's pretty cool to watch the kids having a blast doing this, as well as the grown folks. Chris and I took this opportunity just to pull out the cameras and uh, interact with the, the guests that was on the trip with us so this is some pretty cool footage so check it out and try to catch up to this topwater bite that's going down top there he is Richie Fitz got a horse on me. he's right here is it black pin or should be a black pin this is feeling very black bonehead Bone you, said, you said what? I said, I said I got a big one. <laughs> You're making a mess of the boat. Look at that. It's beautiful out here. Oh, you think I'm... We in? Oh, we in the boat? Whooping that boy. <laughs> All right. Put a sweat on. Love it. 
blood mayhem. <laughs> How do you feel about that last cast you just made? You know, my form was a little off. Uh, I'm gonna do better this next one. Don't be so critical, man. You know, there's always room for improvement. But uh, no, I uh, I missed the blitz. I didn't have the, the jig tied. What were you doing while we approached the blitz? I was just chilling inside, hanging out. It was cold, it was hot out here. Right. Waiting, you see out through the window all the birds diving. We're like, oh, I see what the captain sees. That's why we're stopping. But uh. Definitely uh, missed out, but it's just Bonita, yeah. maybe, hopefully. Oh man, look, there's something out there. I, uh, I don't think the camera could pick it up, but it is beautiful out here. <laughs> what up, guys? <laughs> What's going on over here? Sweating, trying to catch some damn tuna. Look at, look at the wow. beads. Look at the beads. <laughs> Oh man, that's crazy. <laughs> Ooh, action cast, pop There we go. Hey, hey, what do we say? How'd you feel about that cast? That one was a little better. Oh, there was another one after the oh, imperfect one. Come on. Don't feel too big. Hey, can you hook up? Great. Oh, great. Wonderful. Right. Bone eaters. <laughs> Bone eaters. There's Johnny, everybody. Sacrifices himself. Fishing. I'm guessing you're going to be first up, right? So after that little pit stop, we pushed off into some deeper water and got in some really nice queen snappers and uh, deep water grouper species, so check it out. It's gonna be a queen snapper, baby. Yep. It's gonna be a queen. Look who we got. <laughs> we got Noah, the rod builder from Daiwa. Yeah. What what do you, next, what how do you cool is that? <laughs> what do you think of this whole experience so far? So far, so good. I mean, super impressive. Yeah. Many big fish, great people, and a very beautiful boat. Do we jig differently over here in Florida? Do we jig? Yeah. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Pretty different. Yeah. You know, Florida is kind of most advanced market to me. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Very, very good. This shark is going to get me, man. He's floating. Floating up. This might this might be a uh, grouper. Only that shark doesn't get me. There's a shark swimming around, guys, and uh, my fish is now floating up, and I'm scared that that shark is gonna get me. Hopefully he gets Dave over there before he gets me. Would be nice. 150 feet. Dave lost his fish. Dave lost his fish. It's only you, John. 120. Three men hook up, one man remains. Here we go. Dave lost it. Yeah. Ooh, she's out. He's out there, John. We like that angle of the dangle right there. I got color. Yep. Oh, there he is. All right, he is. Whirly bird, I got the whirly bird. Here we go. Chaffinch. What's the what's the status? I think I see red. What's the status? Oh, we got grouper chaffinch. Nope, that's a queen. Weedy, weedy, big queen, bro. Woo. Nice queen snapper. Yeah, that's the one I've been waiting for. Nice. That's the right color, baby. That's the one I've been waiting for. Free school, Ian. Yes, sir. Let's go. Well guys, that concludes our first day out on the American Patriot. Yep. We put on we put on a show today. We, we did. We got the ARS like we planned on doing. Got a lot of nice muttons in the box early. We pushed deep about halfway through the day. And it was incredible. Lots of snowy grouper. 
the, I got the queen queen snapper that I was hoping for, the snowy grouper I was hoping for. The night, the night bite, you know, before today was amazing. It's glass out here. We're finishing up in about 500 feet. I would imagine we're gonna push a little further in, but not before. We ate great today too, and up. here we go. Not before Chris Doyle. For scamp number two on. Puts another scamp grouper on the boat. So guys, <laughs> just God. an incredible day. We so, love deep dropping jigs, yes. we sure do. So guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You could also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Putting out a few TikToks there. And most importantly, jig on. See ya. Hey, hey, sweetie. Thank you, sweetie. That was yes, gentlemen. Don't forget to make one last call to your significant, your significant others, wives, girlfriends, friends. We just pulled off the dock, talking to my wife, Steffi, six months pregnant. Go us. One last call. I love you. I love you. Talk to you in three days, and then click airplane mode, and that's it. Bye, Felicia. Body round, you know.